Monday to you, everybody. Feels good out there. No rain to worry about. And a fantastic summer night is ahead. Low humidity Tuesday and not too hot. Who doesn't love that? Humidity and scattered storms do return later this week, but that is expected. Notice the temperature and the heat index. Not too bad tomorrow on Wednesday, uh, but starting to creep back up there uh, by later this week into the weekend. But nothing like what we dealt with um, last week. All right. The tropics are getting active. It is hurricane season and we're in late June and there are a couple of disturbances to talk about. One of those is way out in the Atlantic right now. Some development is likely could even become a name storm. Here's a Gulf Coast right here. Nothing imminent, but just goes to show things are heating up. Something we have to track every day now uh, going forward. The hour by hour show is seven o'clock tomorrow morning. 67. I'll take it. Have a few clouds tomorrow, but really not too hot. Most people should remain shy of 90. This is 7 o'clock tomorrow night. 84 degrees. Again, very pleasant for late June standards. And as we head into Wednesday, it will be hotter. 90 at 4 o'clock, but still a far cry from those record highs last week of 101, 102, uh, nothing like that. As we head into Thursday, the humidity will be back and it's going to feel like summer again, but we're not talking about record temperatures. As far as rain goes, the rain chances are back in play too, Friday and Saturday, so you'll need your umbrella. Doesn't mean it's gonna rain everywhere all day, but be prepared. A look at tomorrow shows, not bad, 84 at noon. 87 at 3 o'clock. Again, with low humidity, we can take that. Don't forget, look before you lock people and pets. Even in the 80s, upper 80s, still dangerous. 7 day forecast shows it gets hot again Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Holiday weekend. A lot of people thinking about that already. And it looks like we'll have scattered storms, not raining everywhere all the time, but the chances are going to be there for sure. Don't forget about us on our app. ABC 24 easy to download completely free. All right. Well, something to talk about now, and that is Matta. As a matter of fact, tonight, more funding could be headed Matta's way. We're talking nearly a half a million dollars. The Shelby County Commission is expected to vote on the transit and uh, mobility special revenue fund. Now, Matta says that the money is dedicated uh, a commitment and investment in public transit that will support employment, that's good, economic growth, that's good, and improve public safety. All good, safety and mobility. This would be the first time dedicated funding would be given to MATA. Let's all look forward to that and see what it brings. I'll tell you what, we're bringing up next, Rudy Williams, he's back after this short break.